Black and Sabbath. then the other you know, thing, another, you to, know, it's another smart move. What's that? Do they get to hold it? Well, it's another smart move. Oh, is betting. buying a Ridge wallet. Oh, oh, wallet, it is man. smart. That is smart. It's one of the smartest things you could do. It's going to RidgeWallet.com and say, type it, use promo code. R E T A R D. I don't think that's F A G. No, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> in another dimension, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll agree with you there. Perhaps in another dimension, but currently here, I believe the promo code is Cometown. Is it, or Cometown Twenty? Is either Cometown or Cometown Twenty Ridge mm-hmm. Wallet? The problem is that all of these places have kind of the same deal with us. And so I'm like, so that, that makes it harder it's to remember. It's the same deal, yeah, but it's, it's like, a well, different product. Because it makes me feel like I'm being lazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, uh, no. It's and we know how shit. enterprising you are usually. It's probably the same shit. Um, but it's, but listen, before, well, let's talk about what a great fucking product it is while you look up that. Mm-hmm. You know, because I, I can speak for all of us here. We love the Ridge Wallet. Yeah. It's fucking, fucking metal. Uh-huh. It's sleek. Keeps all your cards, your ID. You don't need that bulky shit. Um, yeah, you know? and it's a front pocket wallet. So if you're a man like myself who's constantly getting pickpocketed, who's wearing capris all the time, I'm wearing with pic- only capri one pants. Single pocket. In I'm in. A, I'm in the blackout room in the back of the uh, the club called the Man Hole. <laughs> and I, but I, every time I'm there, I just want to meet other cool guys. But I just end up getting pickpocketed. Yep. Or violated in another way that you're not, you know, that open to talking about right now. Not at this juncture, but yeah. with a little bit of therapy, I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why the Ridge Wallet is good for you. If you're a guy like Adam who's getting sucked off against his will and capris, uh, the Ridge Wallet is really easy to keep track of because you just put your hand in your one little pocket. That's God right. damn, I can't force I don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> um... Then they not only have fucking wallets, they got a bunch of shit. They too. got a whole. They got backpacks line. that are cool. The backpack looks good. I'm, I'm yeah, still it's, want it. It's, well, it's, fucking buy it, you fucking cheap piece of shit. Well, there's there's sp- sp- friends of the show. They should be sending some. Send two backpacks. Send one for two Nick of the and me. What? Send we're two not backpacks for stop. One for the his, no this reality and no, the other. I don't his, need a pig pack. He needs a pig. I don't backpack. need a pig backpack. <laughs> the wallets are made out of premium materials like aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber. Mm-hmm. Premium, which is a type of metal, I understand. Um, but yeah, the backpack looks really good, and I need something to put a laptop in for for travel, which is coming back soon. I'm going to Santorini in Greece. Are you seriously? No, but oh. I would like to. Sounds the nice. wallet redefined. It's nice, yeah. a better way to carry cash and cards, and we invented it. Slim RFID blocking. Mm-hmm. So no um, one's hacking your shit. And I, well, I'll be at the town hall next week, and I'll say, oh, uh, RFID, what does the I and the D <laughs> stand for? <laughs> I know what the R and the F stands for, but... <laughs> I'm having a little trouble with the I and the D. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and they're like, why are you here? Why are you at the FDNY town hall asking us about wallet blocking technology? Because I'm a I man in, with questions. Because I live in subsidized housing for the mentally ill. <laughs> yes. And I have nothing else to do. And you're giving out free cookies. Wow, the commuter backpack you can get with I dated, a power bank. In I it. dated a girl that would like great. ran a housing program for mentally ill, like violently mentally ill mm-hmm. people in the city. Mm-hmm. And at one point, she was sincerely like, "You know, I could get you a, a house, a here. place." And it's like not as like. Oh, I can scam the system. Yeah, yeah. It's like you would easily qualify. It's, yeah, it's like I think you you, you are... Uh, my opinion of you is someone I'm in a relationship with. Yeah. Is that you're so severely mentally ill mm-hmm. that you could be living somewhere in the city for free. And you know what? That's That was the one person in your life that ever truly knew and cared about you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that right now. That's the yeah. only person that was ever honest with you. Well, I stabbed her to death in part of a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess she was right in the end. <laughs> wow. Ridgewald also offers something called the Summit Knife. Incredible. It's $160, mm-hmm. and it's a knife that's you, you made what, out of grade 5 you, titanium and car. Uh, you know what's another Summit, Adam? What is that? That you could get? Uh, what? Some of this dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you really want. I really, I really, I really like. You can put it in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, you got hey, it. I got. 
I really <laughs> got him fair. I square. sauntered into that one. You fucking knocked that one out of the park. You know man. what? Touche, Mona Me. Touche. I'm speaking French now. That was so yeah. good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see what they got in the ETC section. Soft goods. They got a leather. leather soft keychain. goods. Both of your dicks. Yep. Mm. Soft, mm. soft and good. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a fucking a Chevy S10 pickup. Hell yeah. And then uh, slam it to the ground, and then airbrush soft and good <laughs> on the side. Girl, I'll the fuck blue you shoe, soft the blue and good. Shoe, blue chew logo, <laughs> like a little like mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. all the all the sedan, all the dick pill logos. Yep, uh, all like over. a na- it'll look like a NASCAR, but with yeah, different yeah. dick pill logos. Soft and good, soft the soft and good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm and of course, of the they got, they got, the, they got the drink sleeve. It looks like they got some kind of notebook. They got sticker packs. A lot of good shit. They got a t shirt. They got a bandana. They have a tropical ridge wall with like luau theme. Looks what the fuck cool. is a cavity tray? I think it looks like something that Does that go you in could the put wall? your yeah you could put your change and oh, some that's keys cool. and. They're constantly in the innovating wallet. over yeah. their fucking ridge wallet. Yeah. I had an idea for them. I forget. Oh. And, uh, no, wait. I was thinking, like, not a knife, but there was some... I thought I thought of something that could fit in there. You know what would be really convenient is an SD card slot, but only because... Yeah. For us. Yeah, for... I do this for thing. For podcasting. Yeah. For podcasting. Which is a big industry now, and I think they would be right to fucking mm-hmm. incorporate that into But it's coming, walls. man. No, I, it, it's funny, because I saw Lewis was the first person that had one, and he was showing it off at the same time as his fidget spinner. Right. And well, look who's still around. To this Ridge, day. Wallet Ridge Wallet is still around. And I was Fidget like, spinners Lewis, illegal. Lewis, it's one of the gayest things I've ever seen. And then they sent me one when I had to replace my big leather wallet. Because I started making too much money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true. And you do keep cash on hand. I you do, don't do. Ca- trust banks. I walk around. I've never had a bank account. I've got every dollar I've ever made from the podcast mm-hmm. is in my wallet. <laughs> I walk away or walk around with, with about two and a half million dollars. Yep. <laughs> Just stuffed to the gills. Mm. That'd be sick, dude. That to be that be stupid. Awesome. Meet the man, meet the libertarian who doesn't trust. Doesn't trust banks or even keeping things in his house, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking around. He doesn't trust his family, <laughs> banks. Just safes. Just like a... <laughs> he just, like, he's got, like, a like a, like a a Looney Tunes dust cloud around him. And then it settles and his wallet's gone. It's been sort of all of his clothes. <laughs> it just comes leaking out of his ears. Damn. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Ridgewald's good and... Go to RidgeWallet.com. RidgeWallet.com. Try out promo code Comtown. Just play or around. Come down 20. Just fuck. Feel it out. Feel it out. There's probably free shipping or 20% Something off. Something nice. Something along Something those lines. Nice. Just it's make sure you use the promo code. Use the promo code and tell them come town sent At the you. very least, buy something and then send them a subsequent email saying, I wouldn't have bought this if it weren't for come the, me trying. I'm going to be like the come town guys. Yep. We have everything, by the way, here. Yeah. Every cup. Ridge I used to be a, 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 a neo lib chud until I was, <laughs> yeah. until I was radicalized <laughs> by oh, the yeah. come town podcast. And now I'm a revolutionary. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. All day long, but saying like, mm, yeah, not a good look. Check. Not a good look, chief. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> mm. Oh fuck! I feel kids my... in cages. Check, please. I feel my little That's yogurt. That's a definite wasn't enough. Check, check, please. Mm. Yeah, I agree. That what if I told you it wasn't enough? yogurt? I did not eat your. Yeah, cum. you ate. Cum. I mixed it in my home. You ain't coming now. Oh, you're, you're pregnant. Home. Yeah, I have a house. Okay, and you're not it? gonna convince me that I'm a pig sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> and even if I was, even if I was, why would in this reality would I be eating your cum? <laughs> this is supposed to be my escape from you sucking. You cum. ate yogurt. I'm just. All saying. right, thank you. I'm pulling the curtain back. <laughs> I watched the <laughs> Zack Snyder movie Sucker Punch, is it good? and it reminds me of this reality about where you're I'm you're going into an alternate reality to forget trauma because this girl is raped and then institutionalized and then lobotomized. Jesus. But in her brain, she goes into a world where she's... It all happens in her brain? Where she's kicking ass and... They should, uh, how's the movie they end? Should do, she, they should do a happy ending? The, the, Matrix the movie, the movie where, ends where her friend escapes and she's just a lobotomized retard. What the mind. fuck? That they should sucks. do the Matrix, yeah. but it's like Neo's the whole time. Like the, him coming out of the Matrix doesn't happen until the last third of the movie. And he's like, yeah, I want out of the Matrix. And then he like... Comes to in the tube, and he's got pig ears, and he's some kind of like pig human, and he's just sucking some guy's <laughs> cock in the tube. 
And then they're like, well, like, by the way, we didn't mention that. That's what the real world yeah. is. Yeah. You think it's the year 1999, but it's actually close to the year 2099. You've been sucking cock in the tube as a pig man <laughs> your whole life. Mm-hmm. And Joe Pantoliano is like, kind of makes you want to go back in, huh? <laughs> Before you knew you were a cock sucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, I guess that's something that could appeal to some people. Yeah. I don't really see the appeal personally, but, you know, others might like it. Look who? I don't know, you. Celebrity, you seem fitness be, celebrity John Bastow? No, I don't think so. You seem to be really, really infatuated with this idea of pig people recently. Well, I'm an artist. <laughs> John <laughs> Bastow. Yeah. What a reference, dude. Fitness made simple. I Sometimes forgot about that. You gotta that guy. just let whatever is going on in your mind <laughs> go there so we can we can get to the true mm. reality. Mm. We can see ourselves <laughs> yeah. in true reality. I agree with that. John Some, somewhere somewhere in the another my real my closer to reality dimension, I'm watching John based Dow infomercials. Mm. On TV, and it's 1997. John based God. And I got, a, I got a cup of Italian ice from the ice cream oh, truck. Oh, nice. Yeah. I would love a lemon shut ice. <laughs> you said shut up before you finish. Then you told me to shut up. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude, the box is hot over here, dude. I'm yeah. by the sun. I'm telling you, the box is... Mm. It's a different temperature <laughs> it's a, over there. It's, it's a different there's world. A clim- there's a different climate on the box. <laughs> do you, re- do you remember why, how you ended up on the box? No, dude. No, he just ended up there. It's no. almost, uh, I'll say it's this almost like there's another reality. <laughs> Shit. And no. Which is controlling you. And a heat oh, lamp fuck. just turned on. In the other <laughs> you are kind of like a lizard. <laughs> it, needed to be, it needed to be justified somehow. <laughs> Retroactively, I'm be so pissed if I'm a pig in a cage right now <laughs> <laughs> with a heat lamp. If on. I go to bed tonight and I just am a pig just sucking dick, <laughs> I'm gonna be so fucking pissed off. <laughs> Did we say what the promo code was? I for? think we said come down or come down twenty. That's right. Yeah. I like these bags, dude. I like them too. Yeah, I do need a small bag because I have a to... big. Shut up! I'm getting the bag. Come on, man. Oh, now they got this this weekender bag. In a travel kit, they have a they have bigger bags. I don't need a big. I have a big bag. I need a small bag for for, for fucking zipping around. I might be done with phone cases though. I'm done myself. Now that I, now that I just have to pay like a monthly fee for the phone, I'm just gonna get into breaking them. What do you mean you pay a monthly fee instead of buying the phone out? Right? Is that what you do? Yeah. I buy it outright. Just, I pay like forty bucks for my phone every month. I just prefer to buy it outright. Why? I I don't know. I do it. I finance it but, through Apple because yeah, you, you get, get free f- Apple Pay or uh, Apple Care with it. You get free Apple Care. Yeah. You always. You should never buy anything you can finance. I like to buy things. It's good for your credit if you finance. Not only is it good for payments. your credit, but if you have more liquid capital, you can use that to your advantage. I'm an yeah. old school type of guy. I don't trust the stock market. There's no such market. thing as an old school type of guy. The people who say that just don't understand our money. And works. that's fine, and I prefer that. I'm going to start a, my own investment The bank. only thing I'm going to invest in, I'm going to buy a house at some point, and that's it. Yeah. I'm starting, me and well, maybe a, starting a hedge fund called Gay Man Financial. Gay Man that's Financial. Awesome. Yeah. And it's a subsidiary of liquid capital. Yeah, Gay Sex and the, Financial. And the liquid is calm. Hmm, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Gay sex financial. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you could probably do make big money doing that. We do default credit swaps. That's where t- two guys spit each other's cum into each other's mouths. Yeah, it's, it's like snowballing. That, that makes me hard. Yeah. Yeah, thinking about that makes me pretty hard, honestly. Yeah, finance is gay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, so is sucking my dick. But that's that hasn't stopped you. And yes, it has. That's exactly why I don't do it. <laughs> but you want that's to. That's precisely why but you I don't want do to, it. but you don't want to be gay. I'd suck dick, but that shit's gay. Dude. <laughs> it looks delicious, but it looks cool. <laughs> the but bob, it's gay to do the it. bob motion looks cool. Yeah, um, it'd be fun. You know, it's nice to get a new skill to master a new skill. Damn, what? Ridge Wallet, hit me up with a commuter Sh- backpack. I'm getting the commuter backpack. Get, hit me up with a black commuter. Backpack. I'm getting it. You can get it in teal. I don't want teal. You get it in teal. I don't fucking want teal. Fuck you. Looks great. Very simple. Not that kind of slim. Not too big. Not like your dick. Oh, come on, man. Now I want to look at the What else back. is in the news? Rapper DMX is in a vegetative I state. I think he's beating it. 
Is he going to come back from a vegetative state? I think I feel like I saw a picture of him giving up the peace sign, throwing up the peace sign. Really? I hope it's not old. I'm sure he's been in. The, mm-hmm. I'm sure he's been in the hospital before. Lena Dunham debuted her new plus size clothing line. That sounds. That looks pretty good. They should call him ODMX, folks. Mm, that's yep, true. That's true. Have you seen this guy? This guy DMX. Apparently, he's in the hospital for doing too many drugs. Damn. Yeah, maybe he's, it's not looking good. Maybe I saw an old picture. Yeah. That's bullshit, dude. Sovereign. DMX recently went to the hospital for doing too many drugs. Uh, sounds like uh, uh, what's X gonna give it to you is uh, a bunch of ashes from his funeral home, folks. <laughs> That's what he's gonna give to That's you. That's X gonna give it to you. Yeah. Hey, we'll be back with the Kings of Leon. <laughs> he's apologized to the Asian community, yeah. and he's now turning his sights. Yeah. On. Uh, DMX was in the hospital thing. Uh, <laughs> where my dogs at? Apparently, they're at the chi- the Chinese food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> And then he's bringing it back and to he's the back Chinese. To being racist <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we tried cutting out the jokes and realized it was, but it was pretty funny. It was pretty. It made me laugh. <laughs> the DMX thing was pretty funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, I, I, DMX said, uh, "Who let the dogs out?" <laughs> it was uh, the Chinese people letting the dogs out from the back of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> Is that real? Mm-hmm You know yeah, what I mean? It sounds like uh, he had a real rough ride to the hospital <laughs> after <laughs> Overdosing on drugs Hey, Kevin, uh, do, you, do you know this guy? Is he one of your you friends, friends from the from the corner? That from you your neighborhood? You guys go hang out at your cat mm-hmm. houses together? <laughs> mm-hmm. Jay, come on, man Come on, guys. Come on, Jay Come on, Jay. You know I I don't want to find another job. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. Just Jay, just stop being racist to me. Jay, just at least if there could be one person you're not racist towards, maybe it's me. <laughs> Fuck you. I pay your fucking bills, you fucking muck. Suck my dick, you piece of shit. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 I'm Mickey Mouse. Oh, I'm, it's me, Mickey Little. <laughs> Have you seen this? Guess what? Have you heard about this? Guess what? <laughs> if it wasn't enough for me to be both Mickey Mouse and Jay Leto, <laughs> there's one other fact about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> This show's gotten good. <laughs> I'm sucking God's cock. Imagine if I was saying that all because I know it's going to blow your mind. But what if I was also a fag? I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I love Sucky Kong. Oh. <laughs> Have you oh, seen this? Hey, heard about this? Hey, Kevin, I'm watch Sucky Kong. Watch me suck this guy's dick, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, boy. <laughs> now that's good stuff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. As we, we did an hour, I don't think we're topping that, that. Gay J, Michael, <laughs> fucking Mickey, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> fuck comedy. <laughs> okay, damn. All right, here we go. <laughs> Three, two. Is this going to be one of those weeks? Uh, we- Everybody keeps this asking me sense. if I'm gay. <laughs> and I didn't really have an answer. But now I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gay.